Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you guys are well and doing fine. If you clicking the video for the first timer and like to listen true creepy scary and horror stories on daily basis then, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also don't forget to share the video. Well let's not take much time and just start with the stories. I just found this thread and realized I have a good one. I32F live in a pretty small town with one main grocery store. Last year the store hired a new employee, a large, older man probably in his 50s. The guy would be stalking a certain part of the store and he'd always strike up a conversation with me and try to talk to my kids. I would consider him overly friendly, but I am an introvert, so I thought maybe it was just me. I was polite but short. I think most people would have gotten that I clearly didn't want to be bothered. Well, one day a few months ago, he approached me and told me that it was his last day on the job and that I should come visit him at his new job, which was kind of weird in and of itself, because I do not know this person. I was relieved it was his last day, because I always dreaded running into him. He just gave me a bad feeling like he'd asked me over and over if I needed help after I already said no. He would also say weird things like that. We were his favorite part of the day. It just made me uncomfortable. The following day, after his last day of working there, I had to run back to the store for a couple of things I'd forgotten. I saw him as soon as I entered and quickly turned away hoping to avoid him. I thought it was weird because he had said the previous day was his last day. I quickly walked through the store trying to get what I needed as fast as possible. I saw him down every other aisle. He looked like he was looking for me, like he was craning his head. I was picking up the last thing I needed when he quickly, practically running, came up and offered me some chips he was eating. I declined. He started talking to me, asking questions about how I was, what I was up to, the brand of chips he was eating. He was just trying to make conversation with me. Then he started saying that he expected to see me at his new job again. I made some non-committal comment and was about to say, have a nice day, and walk away. When he got very close, like inches from me, asked me how I was in a really weird way, and he was staring at my ring finger. I had taken off my wedding band when lifting weights that morning and forgot to put it back on. I said, I'm good, and started to push my cart forward when he freaking full-on hugged me. I do not know this person. I completely froze. I wish I'd made a scene. I wish I'd shoved him. I wish I'd yelled. I don't know why I just stood there. Who freaking walks up and hugs a stranger? He stood back and looked at me to see how I'd react. He winked at me and said have a good day and walked off. I should have started screaming at him. I started literally shaking and bolted down the next aisle and started crying. It felt gross. It felt like he was seeing how far he could push it. I was scared he'd follow me home or that he'd be in the parking lot, but he wasn't. I started crying when I told my husband about it. My husband was really ticked off at the nerve of that creep. He asked around about him at work and some people that had gone to school with him said that I should be careful. It's such a small town I frequently worry I'll run into him again. Next time though I will freak the F out on him. These two creeps are so creep. I start to wonder, is there a training school for creeps? I, 25F, have recently moved to a new city, which is something a lot of people from my home city are doing. Thus, there's a specific group on Telegram for people from my home city to find housemates don rental buddies. Ben reached out to me after I posted my expectations, must be a 2B2B condo, budget, etc., in the group saying he is interested. He said he want to meet up first. I figured it's a good idea to meet a few times before going house hunting together, so we set up a lunch meeting. During lunch, the only thing that annoyed me is him saying he hoped I can lower my budget. 
I felt like this is a waste of my time as clearly our expectations weren't compatible. However, things went weird after our lunch. When walking towards the subway station, he kept tabbing on my shoulder occasionally. Although I felt the frequency was weird, I convinced myself maybe that's just how he is generally. Based on our previous chit-chat, I learned where Ben lives, and he's supposed to get off at Station A and switch another line, while I would get off at Station B, two stops after Station A, and switch to another line. Because I'm quite new to the city, I didn't realize he had not gotten off at Station A until I had to get off myself. He followed me off and switched line with me, while trying to start different conversations with me. One stop before the actual station I live nearby. I told Ben I have to get off here to do some shoppings, and ready to say my goodbye. Ben followed me off again and went to the grocery store with me. I kept telling him he could leave and I was fine shopping by myself, but he insisted to stay. Every time I turned around in the grocery store, Ben was standing really close to me. I felt super uncomfortable and just grabbed two 4L bottled water and went to cashier. When I was paying, Ben grabbed my water and offered to take those to the Airbnb I was staying. I tried to decline politely, but he wouldn't hand me back my water. I didn't want to have body touch with him, so I didn't try to take the water back with force and kind of let him take those water to my Airbnb. My bad. I know. Ben made his way into the common area of my Airbnb. It's a shared house type. I didn't even invite him in. Then he kept trying to start more and more conversations with me. At several points it was completely silent, but he still wouldn't leave. In the end, after hours, I had to ask him to leave. Days afterwards he still kept texting me weird messages which I didn't reply at all. I blocked him after I moved out of the Airbnb, as I didn't want to trigger him when he still knew where I lived. So I live in a major city where Lyft and Uber get used so often because of the nightlife. Last week I was going to meet my friends at a bar downtown and took a lift so I didn't have to worry about parking or drunk driving. I ordered my lift, and ten minutes later he arrived. He was an older man, maybe in his seventies. Thick accent and very frail. Because of his age and fragility, I wasn't scared which I normally would be when riding late with an unknown male. I got in the car and said good evening, to which I got no reply. Normally I put my headphones on so I don't have to make conversation with my driver, but since he was quiet from the beginning, I didn't have to. About five minutes into the ride, he turns the volume up on his stereo and puts in a CD. Immediately I start hearing moaning noises and look up from my phone thinking he's playing adult films. However, it turns out to be a song, with the entirety of the background noise being moaning. The lyrics are even worse and I immediately take my headphones out to listen to my own music. Closer to my destination, he takes a wrong turn into a one-way street, closed off and dimly lit. At this point, I'm very aware and turn my music all the way down. He slows down so much to the point where I think he's going to stop the car. At this point, I'm unbuckled and ready to run. When he turns around and stares at me, not saying a single word, I immediately call my friend and tell her I'm close and to come meet me outside. He finally gets back onto the main street and we reach the destination. When I try to open the door, I discover he had child lock on this whole time. But thankfully my friend recognized me and opened the door. I leave right away and before I do anything I report him on the app. Thankfully nothing happened to me but the whole encounter was so strange and creepy As a 22-year-old woman living alone in my apartment, I've encountered a neighbor who's left me feeling unsettled. This individual, whom I've noticed in the parking lot typically late at night, between 12 a.m. and 2 a.m., is a bald Caucasian man, 
approximately 5'6", likely in his late 30s or early 40s. One evening, after parking my car and heading towards my building's entrance, I sensed him abruptly speed walking towards the building from across the lot. Despite not seeing him when I initially stepped out, he appeared suddenly, trailing behind me as I reached the door. Once inside, he followed just a few seconds behind, despite being farther away moments earlier. As I went to buzz myself in, he attempted to communicate something to me, though his words were barely audible. Assuming he might have forgotten his key and was seeking entry, I hesitated. However, before I could respond, he tapped his key fob and entered. Feeling uneasy, I quickly proceeded inside, glancing back to lock my car, only to find him lingering, seemingly waiting for me. Opting for the stairs, I rounded the corner to find him absent. Yet, upon opening the stairwell door, a sense of unease prompted me to glance back, only to catch him surreptitiously peering around the corner, watching me. His sudden disappearance and covert behavior heightened my fear, especially given the lack of surveillance cameras in the stairwell and on my floor. The situation has left me feeling unsure of how to proceed and concerned for my safety. Thank you so much guys for watching the video till the end. If you have any thoughts regarding the stories, please let us know down in the comments below. And also if you have any experiences, scary experiences in your life, please be free to share your experiences on our Gmail account. Have a nice day.